Hey guys, Mac here. We're continuing through with Splinter Cell Blacklist on Perfectionist and obviously getting no kills. This is the detention facility level. It takes place at Guantanamo Bay and it is quite a difficult mission as you don't have your suit for a good portion of the mission and the enemies are um, very aware of their surroundings. There's a lot of dogs. Uh, it's not the longest of missions, but it's definitely one of the more difficult missions up to this point of the game. In my opinion, probably the most difficult mission up to this point. Now the very very beginning of the mission, very easy, literally you just walk forward with, um, I believe that's Briggs, um, taking you into Guantanamo Bay into a holding cell where you're going to find an enemy. There's no way to really screw up or any way to really get lost in this section, but I decided to show it because you do control your movement. Just literally keep walking forward and following the pathway of uh, fences until you reach a room. Now, inside the room, there will be quite a long cinematic, um, and you will have the option to spare or kill someone. As always, in the cinematics, we spare them. It just makes your life easier and uh, guarantees that you don't get any uh, kills, uh, per se. So once we trigger this little section, spare the guy after watching a long cinematic, unless you want to skip it. Nice work. And then we should um, trigger this section where we basically have to escape to some lockers where we can find our stuff. Now this section, these upcoming sections are a little hard because you don't have your suit so you're kind of loud and you don't have a radar. But as soon as this guy goes through the door, jump in through this window. As soon as you come in, go forward, turn to the right. It is a little dark, but follow around to the right hand side. Do not stop walking or else you get caught by an enemy. Now walk towards um, the door and park your butt right here. Now that enemy has a variety of different movements. If he goes to the right hand side, you can sneak by him. He might almost notice you, but he shouldn't. Um, now, I found this level extremely, um, what's the word, frustrating, because I found that the enemy movements were different almost every single time I tried to restart a section. So this section is actually really easy. Make sure the sniper is not aiming at you when he's not aiming at you. Just follow around to the left hand side. Go up to the uh, big sniper uh, tower, climb up the pipe, and then you'll literally just shimmy along like the outside of the map. You won't really um, get caught in any way, so you don't have to worry about that. Jump up. There is a dead drop. I will be picking it up. Um, I will let you guys know of all the dead drops. I didn't notice a laptop on this mission, to be honest. And um, But anyways, moving on. You'll drop down, uh, pick up the dead drop after um, sucking at the controls, um, and we'll just continue shimming around. Um, no time wasted, really. It doesn't really matter if you spend more than a minute there or whatever you want to do. Now, as I was saying, you might get very frustrated, as I did, even using this guide because the enemy movement is a little different like every time. I noticed some sections, I literally played them maybe 10 or 15 times and the enemy movement was literally probably like 10 different patterns every time. So it is a little bit, um, you know, frustrating. We'll just hop on over here when that guard's not looking, hop on over again, drop down and uh, we'll have the enemies undisturbed as well as a save point. Now this is easily the hardest part of the mission in my opinion. Um, just sneak behind this guy up until here. Now, there's going to be a guy that comes around the front of the truck, so watch him when he's not looking. Go cover to cover here. Now, make sure you put yourself right there at the very left side of this small concrete block. Um, if you don't park right here, uh, he might spot you. So once we're here, just wait until this guard kind of sits there and moves around. I think out of everything in this entire level, I knock out one guard because there was a barking dog and it just made my life a ton easier. Now the lights will go back on because they have solved that problem and um, this guard will be giving a tutorial about like how to fix a tire to this other um, uh, soldier. So once he's doing that, you're going to want to sneak around here. And here's the section that I personally hate because you're so close to finishing this part of the map but you don't have a radar and it's really hard to see enemies around this truck. So I saw that guard move and I thought he was walking away but he actually walked towards me. Um, so I went back 
and that guard on the left of my screen, wait until he's turned around and he'll walk away eventually. Now the guy repairing the tire on this truck should stay uh, near the rear of the truck. He does occasionally wander back and forth to the front and the back where he might spot you. So now that that guard moved, just sneak into here into the shadows. Keep tapping A until the controls decide to uh, work with you and uh, jump through the window when there's no one inside this room. Now, someone is sometimes inside the room, so watch out. Into the left hand side door, and we trigger a safe point where we finally get our suit. Now, when you do get your suit, make sure you equip your sticky noisemaker, which is my primary um, distraction technique, as well as the crossbow. And you should have sticky shockers, even if you have the full upgrade. For whatever reason, they don't let you um, keep the upgrade. As soon as I parked here, I threw a sticky noisemaker at that car. Um, it did get the attention of some of the enemies, although I'm not sure it's completely necessary for you to complete the section. I just did it as a precaution. Now go from this cover to cover, and then go from this cover to the front of the truck. Now you can do this, I like to take it a little bit slowly, and you'll see these enemies kind of gather in front of that gate, and there's a whole bunch of choppers and stuff. Um, but once they kind of separate, you can... Uh, just go as far back as you can so they won't notice you and then you can start sneaking towards that gate Obviously make sure you see your uh, little indicator for when they can see you and when they can't I snuck up to here and once the guard leaves the gate and uh, Progresses through from the left to the right you can sneak into here There will be one guard right in front of me here. My screen's lagging. There we go um, so I marked him just to show you guys exactly what was going on and uh, it just makes your life easier. So once he moves on um, out of this area, you sneak behind him. Watch out. There are enemies that can literally see miles. And in this section, climb through the window. And I went like full retard in this section, unfortunately, um, control-wise. But if you just follow exactly what I did, you'll be fine. Climb through the window, drop down under the cover, up the pipe. And then once you're up the pipe, I turned on my night vision. Uh, shimmy on to the right hand side and make your way to the next pipe now what I should have done at this pipe was shimmy down and then into cover and went through that window that you can see on my screen I'm gonna fast forward this for you guys because literally like 40 seconds of me going back and forth up this pipe but when that coast is clear you're gonna want to go down the pipe the coast will be clear a lot earlier and you'll want to walk through that hole on the right hand side there I decided to jump up and shimmy across which is fine as well now this window in front of you here you're gonna to want to go through it the weird part about this section is if you go through this window and restart the checkpoint um, it'll restart you actually like further than the window so it's a little weird in that way um, I actually died in the part in this next part and then restarted the checkpoint I was somewhere completely different so keep that in mind you can always come back backtrack to this window and once the coast is clear, you're going to want to drop down. Uh, the coast will be clear if you're doing it for the first time. Um, like, if you're not restarting the checkpoint, the coast should be clear. Um, hop on over. Equip your sticky shocker. There is a dog in this section. I honestly, I tried this section multiple times. He always found me. I even tried using the, I think, a sticky noisemaker. But it was just, it proved to not work. So once he spotted me, I took him out and... Um, you know, some of the enemies kind of got a little suspicious, but they didn't notice anything major. So I just progressed on. Um, watch out for the enemy to maybe see you from behind. Now sneak on to the right-hand side of this area. Keep sneaking and use your radar to the best of your ability. Now you're going to want to park somewhere around here, but be very careful as there are enemies that can spot you from like 30 different directions. So what you're going to want to do is actually just park here until the enemies in front of you start moving. As I was saying, uh, just park here and wait for the enemies in front of you to kind of move. Um, watch out, there's enemies from all angles that can spot you. And uh, so I went right here and you'll see that I almost get caught from like across the map, which sucks. So you can just sit in the shadow on the other side of this gate. And once these two enemies that are inside this area are both turned around, just sneak through into the area. Uh, run if you can, go as fast as possible and into this area where you will start your next checkpoint. Um, this part coming up, personally, definitely the hardest part of this mission for me uh, because there is a dog and whatnot. I was basically able to get this down to um, one knockout and you'll see why exactly.
I'm marking the enemies you'll have to worry about. That sniper, he gets you like every time. And that enemy down there, once he turns around, you're going to want to drop down, drop down, and he's walking away. Turn on your night vision if you want. Make sure that laser is not pointed towards you. Uh, night vision would probably help in this area as it is quite dark. Uh, once we get into this area, just follow the pipes. And um, coming up to this little area where you see right here, the enemies will walk by in literally 5 to 10 different patterns every time. As long as they're not really looking, you can go from cover to cover inside one area to inside the other area without them seeing you and even if they're kind of facing you they shouldn't see you because of how dark it is so you can take that chance or restart the checkpoint if for whatever reason you have something completely different than me now another section this is actually kind of a pain this enemy walks back and forth in pretty random ways as well and there is actually a sniper and the sniper's aim is really hard to know where it is as you can see I'm trying to poke my head out to see where he's aimed um, so if you actually go to cover here and look up into that tower you can see exactly where he's aimed so when he's not aimed at you you're gonna wanna walk towards here um, you can run if you want now climb up this area and you're gonna wanna do this fast jump down now go straight for that pipe, up the pipe. Hopefully the dog didn't notice you. If the dog noticed you like he noticed me, this guard will get suspicious of you. And once he got suspicious of me, I just took him out. If you were to be a little more patient than I was, he actually wouldn't have cared. And you probably would have went on his way. Drop up and over and then down and you'll start the next checkpoint. From here on out, it is smooth sailing. The rest of this mission is pretty easy in my opinion. Go to the left hand side, follow on the outside of the map on the left. There's like two or three enemies in this area, and one of them is that sniper right there. He will basically never notice you, so just stay crouched and walk at a decent pace. Once he's not aimed to the left-hand side there, you're going to want to sneak up forward and uh, just stay hugging so the wall is on your left. Just hug that wall around here into there, and that was part was really easy. Cut the fabric, and we're done that section. Now this last section is uh, literally basically a story builder I don't believe there's any enemies in it I don't believe there is a way to fail it unless there's like a hidden time um, constraint but literally this next section is just kind of like climbing and scaling which we haven't really seen since probably mission like three it takes about a minute but literally um, just keep climbing the rocks until you can make it to the end of the area I think there are two different ways to get to the end but it doesn't really matter I'm taking the low road and just keep climbing up and dropping down whenever you get the chance. Now, if you're stuck at a ledge here, just try to climb the side of the cliff like that. Um, it's actually kind of hard to understand where they want you to go. And the section's very, very linear, even though it seems like it's kind of open world because you're climbing wherever you, we you want, whatever. Um, but yeah, once we go forward, continue all the way to the ship, we will... Uh, unlock a cinematic, unlock the achievement for completing the mission, and get the scoreboard. I actually got well, well over the Ghost Mastery rating for this. I think it was like 10,000. I got over 13,000, you see here. Um, I didn't get any Assault Points or Panther Points. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, I see you in the next video. Peace.